Good morning, guys. I cannot believe we are here midway through September of 2020. What the frick? <laughs> Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I prioritize myself in my regular routine, which is quite crazy right now, mid-pandemic, mid-construction of my home. As you can see, the vibes are not 10-10, but we still have to focus and prioritize ourselves and do a little bit of self-care every single day, and this is what I'm going to be sharing for today's video. A huge thank you to Clarence for actually sponsoring today's video. My life is kind of crazy right now. Since the beginning of the pandemic, I've really thrown my Myself into work. That's just like my natural thing to do. So I have very little time for myself, but I thought that I would show you guys how I prioritize myself with that little amount of time and how you can make the most out of your day. I am currently renovating my bathroom, and so this is what my bedroom looks like. Not the best for self-care. We're trying to make the most out of it, and I like to I like to wake up a good 15 minutes before I know I have to get up just so I can spend some time laying in bed if I want to. And lately I've been trying to get into affirmations every single morning. I found a TikTok and I just repeat after him and it feels really cheesy at first, but I really think that it puts your head into a positive space to start the day. And that's what self-care is all about. You know, the little things that make you feel better and make the days feel better, especially when the world isn't so great right now. As soon as I finish with the affirmations, I make sure I get right up and out of bed. And today I was like, ah, maybe I should make my bed. So we did that. And when I say make my bed, we just we just threw it together. And then we're ready to actually start the day and I climb out of my little Dexter room. It's <laughs> literally like Dexter. And since my bathroom is currently getting renovated, I have to go down the hall to my office and that is where I've been going to the bathroom in the morning. This morning in particular, I woke up pretty early because I knew I wanted to spend a little bit of time for myself in the morning before my contractor got there and then construction was starting and that's just not a great relaxing environment, obviously. The first thing I like to do is honestly skincare. I feel like when I wake up, I look so tired and defeated. <laughs> and I've been using the Clarins Double Serum for the last few weeks now and this is the only thing that makes me look somewhat alive in the morning. It's actually unbelievable what this does to my face. So basically with this product, they have a dual chamber that features water and oil. And then once you pump it, they combine. So I typically just go for one pump in my hands and I like to rub it together for a while so that it really warms up in my palms. And then when I put it on my skin, it just really absorbs super, super nicely. And this product specifically addresses all visible sides of aging. It tightens pores, gives you a more even skin tone, minimizes fine lines and wrinkles, and basically just gives you a more radiant skin after a full week of using this product. I love pressing it into my skin with the Clarins application method. It really helps with lymphatic draining and really gets rid of a lot of that puffiness that I usually wake up with, honestly. The double serum is actually power packed with 21 plant ingredients, starring turmeric that really helps address all visible signs of aging. It also has ingredients like banana, avocado, mango. There's so many different amazing ingredients that really help fight fine lines and wrinkles. It really just helps enhance the skin's natural hydration. This product is honestly a game changer for me. As soon as I started using it, I could tell right away that but the texture of my skin really improved. I really love putting this on every single morning in combination with their moisturizer. By applying my moisturizer on top of the serum, it actually helps the serum and moisturizer to absorb deeper into my skin, which obviously boosts hydration and it's better at protecting my skin at every layer, which is obviously awesome. Clarins is obviously very well known, an incredible brand. You can definitely trust the products. Clarins also has other serums for other skin concerns that you may have. So I'll have a link down below to check out more Clarins products. The craziest fact that I learned is that this product is sold every five seconds around the world. That's how incredible this product is. It's a worldwide bestseller and I can absolutely see why. This is honestly one of my favorite self-care activities. I love anything to do that will, you know, make my face feel and look better. So, you know, gotta love it. Once I'm done, you know, kind of getting myself together for the morning, brushing my teeth and whatnot, I will head downstairs and make myself a coffee. This is definitely something that I love doing every single morning. It's definitely like a self-care activity for me at this point, which is so silly, but I like to get like a really cute cup and make the whole experience just a little bit nicer than like pouring a random cup of coffee. I really love these moments. 
And when I feel like doing a little extra self-care, I make a whipped coffee, which is a little bit more extra effort. I don't know, I just really like it. I like the taste, I like the texture. Anything that will make me feel a little happier or more relaxed in the morning to start the day off, that is what I will do. And then for my last moment before my contractor arrives and then my place goes back into construction zone mayhem, I like to sit in my little egg chair inside, either inside or outside, as you can see, I have two egg chairs now. We are going through a crazy heat wave in California right now, so I wake up and it's over 90 degrees. So it's just not super relaxing. So I prefer just to grab my coffee, grab a book and sit in my egg chair for around, you know, 20 minutes or whatever I can. Really just whatever time I have, I will sit here until my contractor arrives. And then I have to go upstairs and I pretty much lock myself in my office until they're done for the day, which is usually around six o'clock. The only time I really go downstairs is for food throughout the afternoon. But besides that, I'm just sitting in here working and it's definitely not relaxing or anything like that. But that's a-okay, you know, regular work day, we are working. But that's why I really like to prioritize the mornings and the nights and little things that I can do just to add a little bit of extra self-care into my day. So I'm just going to spend my day working and then when my contractors are gone, we will get back to a little bit of self-care in my regular routine. And we have finally made it to my favorite part of the day, which is the end of the day. I really, really love the nighttime, I've always been a night owl. Once I'm finally done with work for the day, that is when my true self-care starts. Depending on the day, I like to pour up a little glass of wine and we're just gonna pretend that this little mixture of a drink, which is kind of like a mimosa, is a glass of wine. <laughs> and on the nights where I wanna do a little bit extra self-care, I like to order myself dinner. This is super, super rare for me. If you guys watch the vlogs, you know that I do not order in very often. I save the order in nights for a special occasion and this night I was just feeling really exhausted with the stress of the world and I ordered in some sushi while waiting for the sushi, I actually love taking 15 minutes to tidy up and light a candle. The cleaning part isn't like the most fun part, but I find it really relaxing when I actually put on some nice music. I try to appreciate it and I just really like when my space looks clean. So all in all, it is a self-care activity. And when I finish off cleaning, I like to light a candle or two, really set the overall vibe. I feel like when you have a nice environment, that in itself is self-care. I also really try to prioritize some time off of my phone every single night, whether it's reading some of my book or most recently I've been working on this puzzle. It's been a great self-care activity. I think everyone needs a little bit of time off of their phone at least once a day. It's so easy these days just to like be on your phone and not actually think about yourself or the world around you. So taking time off of your phone, you really get to focus on yourself a little bit more which I really genuinely think, especially right now, we all could use more of. And then my food finally arrived and I just, you know, really took in my time with my food and I appreciated it. I listened to my music and sometimes I'll face my friend while I'm actually eating. It's a lot more fun than eating by myself. So I got some sushi and when I say sushi, it's like an avocado cream cheese roll. And then I got some fried rice and some miso soup, which was such a yummy meal. For me, self-care is all about the little things that you can do every single day. It doesn't have to be a whole big event. Anything you can do in your regular routine to boost your attitude and your day is what I like to consider self-care. And fun fact about me, I really love mixing in wasabi into my soy sauce. I just think it's so good that way. Another thing that I like to do is actually load my dishwasher. This again, seems just like annoying like cleaning, but I really appreciate coming down the next morning to a bunch of clean dishes. It just makes my life easier, which all in all makes me happier and therefore self-care. <laughs> and once the end of the night arrives, I climb back into my little Dexter cave and I turn on my little starlight. This is such a game changer. The vibes are spectacular and then my all time favorite self-care activities watching my favorite shows on Netflix and right now that has to be the vampire diaries team Damon forever and that was today's video guys I hope you enjoyed and will subscribe and click the like button and I will see you guys next Tuesday